At least one Kansas City community is actively working to put an, an end to violence in their neighborhood. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live in the Mannheim Park neighborhood where neighbors are working together to make the area safer. Andres, how are they doing that? Kevin, in the last six months, there have not there hasn't been a shooting or a murder here in the Mannheim Park neighborhood of Kansas City. People who live here point to this community garden as a safe haven, and that's not all. That was the sea change to go from we are victims to we are changing. Bill Drummond is one of the individuals responsible for the dip in crime the Mannheim Park neighborhood has experienced. He says the tipping point came two years ago. We had shootings regularly. Over 200 shots were fired within a block of where we are. At which time Drummond sought the help of a special group of women. The grandmothers are your heart of every neighborhood. They know who are the bad actors, they know who are the good actors, and they know what resources and wise things to do. With the Neighborhood Association, he put in place practical solutions. This is not the camera from the, the store down the street. This is the neighborhood's camera. If it captures bad activity or unwanted activity, it is the neighborhood who prosecutes. And it's community partnerships that have stepped up when the neighborhood can't go at it alone. It only takes one or two people to really cause a problem, to really make a neighborhood seem like it's not safe. Dan Kroll manages the community garden. And then we grew peas here this spring. That serves as Mannheim Park's safe space. Another one at 40th and Troost, where the Charlotte Street Foundation, an organization that supports artists, has set up their neighborhood artist residency program. When something occurs in the neighborhood that's disruptive, one more set of eyes, as they say, that um, views what happened or is aware of what's typical and what's not typical. But there are still issues. This does not cure everything, but it does solve a major, major component. Now, in the midst of changing the neighborhood's attitude, Drummond did face threats, but he says it was all worth it. Reporting live at 42nd and Forest tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.